Osborne. Sir. Gail. Yes, sir. And Wakeford. Present. Right, lads, obviously across the country we're stuck in lockdown, which means a lot of people are having to homeschool. I do not envy you at home who's having to homeschool their kids. I take my hat off to you because that is one tough gig. So we've been set our first Zoom challenge, which is we're going to be the pupils and we're going to get homeschooled. So we're going to have seven questions from seven different subjects and we've got to see who is top of the class. What do you look like at school? Oof. You should not ask that question, man. <laughs> yeah, I just I did what I needed to do to get by. I survived. You, you, were, you were footballers, so footballers were always the naughty kids at school. No, nah, I weren't naughty, though. Nah. Mm-hmm. What about I you? Man? I wasn't naughty, I was mischievous. Ah, that's naughty. <laughs> you were naughty. I, w- I wasn't naughty, but I did get excluded once. <clears throat> what? I never got excluded. There you go, see? What Nearly did you did get that. excluded for? It's a, it's a family show. <laughs> yeah, you made it sound to... worse. You made I've it sound worse. I've even found the letter heading as well. The actual letter <laughs> that I picked up <laughs> months. I could read it if you want, but no, nah, I ain't got time, mate. Right, all right, then let's get into. It. I fancy my chances. To be honest, it's one all in the series, isn't it? Everyone's got a win under their belt. Hold up, hold up. There's only one club fool at the moment, that's me, because I'm the only one that's done a blasted forfeit, so <laughs> let's, put it out. let's level that up first, yeah? Level that up. All right, I promise I'll do a forfeit, I'll promise I'll do a forfeit. Um, right, Alan Tilliard, aka Alan Shepherd, aka Sam Thompson from the Made in Chelsea mob, kick us off, Sam. First question, year six English. Oh gosh. What class of word is immediately? That's immediately. Is it A, a conjunction? Is it B, an adverb? Is it C, a verb? Or D, a determiner? I'm going to show you your answers at the end. Let me write up. A, oh. I'm going. What was A um, again? A Don't was sir. conjunction. What is a conjunction? You should have studied better at English. <laughs> I'm A star at English. Genuinely. <laughs> I've got A star GCSE English, the only thing I've done well at. Done well at, the irony of that as well. <laughs> I'm just. I've got my answer. I've got my answer. I'm going to go for it. Right. Okay. Are you showing your answers, class? I've gone A. I've gone C. I've wrote it out. I've gone D, the terminal. This is not a good start. The answer is B, <laughs> adverb. No! Oh, I was going to go for that one at all. Hold up, Kylie was the furthest away from it, so that's a forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good yes, Osborne? Is the determiner actually a, a real English or that thing? Yes. What is it? Let's move on to question two, year five <laughs> geography. He doesn't know, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. In which continent are the Atlas Mountains? Is it A, Africa, B, South America, C, North America, or D, Asia? I did like my geography at school, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna back myself. I reckon I've got this one. I think I've got this one right. I should have this one right. Can I see your answers, please, class? Go on, B, South America. I've got A, Africa. I've gone D. Because you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Master Gale, you are correct. Yes. The answer is A. Oh, Africa. We're gonna go that. Oh, yes. In Morocco, in it so separates Morocco from the rest. Oh yeah, it is as well. I knew that one. Oh, Joe's all right. <laughs> okay. Next up, Year Six Maths. We've got a problem for you to solve here. Oh no, oh, I'm struggling here. A bucket holds hey. five. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stay after class, Wakeford. <laughs> A bucket holds five litres of water. 250 ml of water is drained from the bucket every minute. How many minutes will it take for the bucket to empty? Easy. Is it? No, I don't need need options for this one. Okay, okay. Oh, you do need options. No way! That's too easy. Yeah, with options, man. As, As Big Shaq would say, that's quick maths. 
Easy. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Go on then, Big Mouth. Wakefield. If I've got this wrong. Go on. My is right here. Sorry, how many? 20. <laughs> I've, got, I've got 16. Osborne? 32. The answer is 20 minutes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ely, do you want me to show my workings? No. You don't care. Right, that's one. This stage, question three. Osborne is the only student to have not answered the question correctly. Hopefully history was your favourite subject, Osborne. <laughs> Year three history up next. Year three. Who was born most recently? A. Oh. Florence Nightingale. Wow. Oh, B. Pocahontas. Did he just pull a flow? <laughs> <laughs> C, Henry VIII, or D, Samuel Pepys? Done. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. I ain't picked I'm it. Done. Right, I've got my answer. Who's going first? I gave mine. Mine was B. Pocahontas? I've gone for it. I've gone A. Yeah, I've gone A as well. Florence Nightingale was born most recently. Yes! A. Pepys, look, I'm not, I'm not digging him out, but should he be in that company? Is what I'm, I'm asking. On Arguably, the... you probably shouldn't be in the current company you're in. But let's move <laughs> on to question five. Wow! <laughs> well played. Question five: Which of the following is not a primary colour? Is it A red, B yellow, C blue, or D green? Which is not a primary colour? Correct. Oh. What are you going for, Marcus? I'm going to go for... A. Red. I've gone D. Green. I've gone D. Green. Oh my gosh. Green is not a primary colour. D. Green That's... is the right answer. Yeah. I'm, back in the, I'm back in the game! Is that because it takes two colours to make it? That's exactly why. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Well, and that's true. Year four science is question six. What takes blood back to the heart? Is it A, taxis, B, veins, C, arteries, or D, ventricles? Uh, but I don't get, I thought two of them are the same. They ain't the two same. <laughs> what do you say, Dave? I said two are similar, innit? <laughs> What's the difference between a vein and artery? I know. I, I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right. I've gone C, artery. Oh. Artery. I did have D, but I've gone C. I've gone B, vein. Osborne's on a row. It's B, veins. No. Arteries take it away. No. Arteries take the blood away from the heart. No. Well, there you go. Your new physio, it seems, coming up. What is the French word for book? Is it A, livre, B, stylo, C, col, or D, bureau? Bonsoir, bonsoir, <laughs> bonsoir, oh, bonsoir. Who's going first? I want Carly to go first. I'll go first, man. D. Bureau? Yeah. Nah. I've got. <laughs> I've gone A. Livre. So am I. A. Livre. Yes. <laughs> yes. The answer is no, A. Livre. No, I, I had a French girlfriend back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, man. Joking. <laughs> right. I'm glad I won this. Arteries and veins have done me here. But it's me and you, Carly, out in front on four each after seven. Marcus, unfortunately, that means... You have lost, but we need a winner. We need a win. This is what competition's about. We want winners. So, Carly, me v you, tiebreaker. Teacher, what you got for us? So, we've got a P tiebreaker, and it's the person with the closest answer who wins. P is, that's already favouring him. Struggling, Stu. <laughs> that is favouring him. I was 
useless at PE. In oh, what you're year? Pathetic. You're pathetic. Sorry. You'll be doing lines after class at this rate, Wakeford. I must be a better presenter 100 times. Ooh, come for me twice. In what year was the Football Association formed? I'm done, sir. Okay, well, could you please both reveal your answers? I've got 1901. <laughs> That's a good shout. What have you gone? I've gone, oh, I've gone too early. I've gone 1874. Oh, sure. my, my, my fault, and I might be wrong here, but I think football was about, but the FA started later. Yeah. I can tell you that, Stu, you are 38 years away from the founded date. No, and Carl, right. you are 11 years away. No! In 1863. Oh, I was going to say 64 at first as well. Another challenge won. No. That means me and Marcus have got to do what? A forfeit at some point? Yeah. I ain't doing no more until we are leveled up. I've come on your show and I've taken over. <laughs> right. We've got to bring him down a peg or two, Marcus, <laughs> in the next one. Got a two foot him down a peg or two. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, can I have a sticker, please? Last dismissed.